Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. You know, I've gotten a lot of questions or comments concerning McDonald's, so I thought I would share my McDonald's life with you. And to start this off, I will say my McDonald's wrap. Now, I made up a wrap. May I have my, I forgot to get my, my um, notebook. I made up a, I made up, I don't, I'm not going to read the wrap because I know it by heart. But I made up a wrap, and when I made up the wrap, the um, corporate office and my man my um, store manager was really impressed, and so were the people that owned the franchise. They were so impressed with the wrap that they put me on the radio, and I actually put the wrap, told, did the wrap there, and they put it to a, a beat, a wrapping beat. And also, whenever the radio station was in town, they used to come to McDonald's and they would be putting me on. And I would be riding to work and I'd hear them say, I wonder if, and they would use my name, Mary Grace is going to be there. And I'd be saying in, to the radio as I'm driving, I'm coming, I'll be there in a few minutes because they'd always be there just a little bit before I got there. Well, that rap was so impressive, they sent me to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I had to do that rap in front of the corporate and the franchise owners, and I got a standing ovation for this wrap. Um, I will do it as soon as the clock is done bonging. I didn't realize it was gonna start bonging at this time, but okay, it's done. So you said you were hungry and you wanted to eat, so you turned your feet to the place on the street where the people are friendly, the food tastes great, I promise not to make you wait. Order fish burger fries, spicy chicken or your favorite pie, a parfait cone or a shake. Now don't these things all sound great? Then there's salad, fresh and crisp and two hot soups. It's hard to pick. Let's not forget that happy meal with the all white nuggets. It's a real great deal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner too. Why not let us make it for you? Then there's always in between. You're never going to find a finer cuisine at McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. That's about the only part of it that really didn't belong to me was the ba -da -ba -ba -ba, and I'm loving it. But the rest of it was all mine and they really loved it. In fact, they gave us a great dinner. They had a, a lot of, um, and when I went to Pittsburgh, it was, a, it was a corporate dinner for them and I was invited to this and I had to speak. In fact, my um, the owner of our franchise said, are you afraid to talk in front of all these people? Well, no, I wasn't afraid. Well, he was, but I wasn't. And um, then they also had a movie crew come to follow me around because I was being nominated for Crew Person of the Year. Now the first year, I was actually nominated two years in a row. The first year I didn't make it. I was, I got a letter that said, congratulations, you were, num were one of the top three, which meant I didn't get it. So then they submitted my name again, and this time they had a movie crew following me. And when I got the letter, it said, congratulations, you are crew person of the year out of a quarter million people. And so what they did then is they sent me to Florida at their um, franchise, I don't know, it was like they were showing all the new stuff that was coming out for McDonald's. And at the time, that was when they were going to do, they had showed that where you could order your own food, then go up to the, the counter and collect your food, I guess is how it works. And I guess that's in the, the McDonald's now, but this was back in 2007 or six, somewhere in there, seven, it would have been seven. Um, that that was actually thought about, but it's taken it all the way until 2019 to come to our McDonald's. Okay, they sent me to Florida, and I stayed at the Dolphin Hotel, and they gave us tickets to go to any of the Disney um, theme parks that we wanted to go to, so we chose the Epcot to go to that. It was a really fun time. We got to spend the whole day. We could walk over from our hotel because it was, the hotel was right there where you didn't have to drive. You just walked over to the, uh, to the um, amusement, amusement park. park. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was called. Okay, then they sent me to 
Vegas. They also sent me there. Oh, before I go on, well, no, I can do it now, still. They sent me to Vegas, because it's all with it. They sent me to Vegas, and I stayed at the, at the MGM. And that's when they put me up on the stage, and they, they gave us all these medals. I'll show you the medal. This medal, and it's a really heavy medal. It's like, it's like what the athletes would wear, and it's got the little McDonald's um, stand. And we wore this around our neck, this beautiful net metal. It's really heavy, very heavy. And they gave us these plaques that um, we can have. And that was what we were giving for being crew person of the year. Now, there was four different ones, and I was the crew person of the year for the East Division, um, East Coast, the whole East Coast. And there was um, two others. There's one for the Central, one for the... Um, West Coast, West Coast and, one and one for the a corporate, yeah. She was from, I think, Canada or something or someplace. I don't know where she was from. But um, they also gave me $150 of traveler's checks. They gave me $100 to spend while I was at the MGM because that's a casino. In fact, I got yelled at. We got yelled at because we were going to take a picture of the conceit. We were up in the balcony, and we were just going to take a picture of the lights down below, and somebody came and said, you're not allowed to use cameras in here. We weren't going to see anything. We weren't learning anything from it. Just it was going to be a pretty picture. Um, they also had this. I have actually two of these. I showed this one other time where it's pictures of me with the... the um, corporate people and Mr. Delgatti is in this picture with me. He's the one that invented the Big Mac. He almost lost his job, his franchise because at McDonald's they don't want anything to be different. They had to be exactly the same so if, no matter where you went they had to taste the same, be the same and he and his sons decided to make the Big Mac sauce and they were selling a lot of Big Macs, and corporate found out that they were selling and wondered how they were selling so many, and then they found out that he was selling this, the Big Macs in his franchise with this sauce. And he just about lost his franchise over that. And they had just, and this happened years and years and years ago, and they had just recognized him at this um, 2007 um, thing in Vegas. They finally recognized him. Then the next year, when I was at McDonald's, I got the Hospitality Award, which is, this is, it's extremely heavy. It's a two-piece thing. This is a, a real heavy, and a heavy, they're both heavy, as you can hear there. It's made out of, um, like a glass and granite, I think, is the bottom. But um, that I got for being hospitality in 2008. Now, a lot of you have talked about your jobs there. My job actually was produced for me. When I went there, they didn't have the job that I had. I was, they made this position, and it was called, and I was the hostess. McDonald's don't have hostesses where you seat people and, and um, serve coffee and like in the bigger restaurants, more fancy restaurants. Well, this McDonald's did. And they also had where I could do, because I ran a daycare before this, arts and crafts on Tuesday. And I did um, music and story on Thursday. Or maybe it was the other way around. I don't remember. All I know is I used to do that. And I also used to make posters. I should bring down the posters and show you. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. It's a lot of them, a real lot. And I had to make a poster every week. And every week it used to take me hours upon hours, but my boss used to pay me um, for working at home to do these posters. Now, I was the hostess, public relations and marketing. And I remember a couple times some kids would call and say, can you, can you, re can you work my shift? And I'd ask what they did, and they worked in the grill. I didn't know anything about the grill. I never had been in the grill. I only walked past the grill to go to the back 
when I would wash the trays. Now my job in included, which was the worst part of my whole job, was I had to clean the bathrooms. I cleaned the bathrooms and I mopped the floors, wiped off the tables and cleaned the trays. And I kept the, the condiment bar area, that area, I kept that stocked and clean. But I would also be serving coffee and if a customer came in and they wanted to talk, I was allowed to sit down and talk. I used to get myself a cup of coffee and sit and talk with them. So that was what my job was at McDonald's. Everybody I, had issues with their food too. And if they, oh yeah, and if they had problems with their food, say I was walking past and I heard somebody say, boy, these fries were not hot. And they maybe had like, I don't know, maybe a handful of fries left, not very many at all. I would say, did I, did I hear the fries were not hot? And they go, yeah, but they're, they're okay, I'm almost done. And I said, no. I said, the fries are supposed to be hot when you get them and they're not supposed to be too salty because some people would complain about the salt. So I used to bring the fries, the container. If it was empty, it was empty. If it had just one or two fries in it, that's what I brought back. If it had half the fries, I brought it back. And I said, I would like, and whatever size they had, I would like the fresh fries when they come, when you first pull them out of the fat, I want the fresh ones. And so I would bring them back a whole brand new thing of fresh fries. And if they ordered something, say they ordered and it had, didn't have everything on the sandwich like they had ordered, I would bring that back and get them the real thing. And then I had a few ladies that were confused with the sign and I used to actually order with them. There was one, and there was one deaf person that came in, and it was funny because I said he wants a, a hamburger and a soda pop and he's and French fries, and he says, "Are you going to pay for it too?" And I said, "No, I'm not going to pay for it too." He had signed it to me, and I said, "No, I'm not going to pay for it." And and so when he would come in, he would be looking for me. I had other people that would come in just to make sure I was still working there, and they would have a cup of coffee. In fact, business was booming when I was there. When I left, the business kind of dropped a little. I guess it was noticed that I wasn't there and they weren't getting the attention that they used to get. So I guess I did a good job when I was at McDonald's. And I was there for seven and a half years. I was going to stay 10, but the lady that um, owned the franchise, she, she passed away. The son that took over the franchise for her most of the time moved away. He bought some franchise in Florida. And this next son came in, and he wasn't as nice. And so I decided, well, the, and, the, and my, the man who hired me, he was um, the district manager, so he was no longer even in the store. So I felt like everybody that I had kind of felt a loyalty to was gone. So I decided it was time for me to leave. So it was seven and a half years that I worked there. And then I left, and I moved on to the school. And that was my life at McDonald's. So I guess I'm done talking <laughs> again. I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.